Aotearoa New Zealand is famous for its stunning landscapes and outdoor lifestyle. Nature is inherently inclusive, but some of our culture surrounding it is not. False beliefs, negative perceptions and a lack of support and education mean that some people who menstruate don't get to enjoy Papatuanuku and all she has to offer. This series will explore why some people have struggled with their period in the outdoors and provide practical tools on how to change this for the future, bringing mana back to the experience of menstruation. Being in the outdoors while on your period can be hard to manage, particularly if you're staying in remote places without access to toilets, running water or soap. But having tools and strategies to help manage your ikura, even if you're not expecting it, can help to reduce the dreaded outdoor period fear that so many feel. Having your period in the outdoors, like, actually sucks. <laughs> gotta carry extra stuff and I gotta remember, is there a toilet? And like, don't get me started on like multi-day trips in the bush. Here I am, a 36-year-old grown woman, and I'm having trouble with this. A period kit is a kit that you carry with you in order to deal with periods. It's usually in a small bag that you can take with you. You can pop it in your bag when you go out on adventures. Having a period kit means that there's not the worry of what if I get my period in the outdoors. It gives you a sense of being prepared and a little bit more in control of something that can sometimes feel kind of out of control. Period kits can vary depending on the person and the products they use. But a simple version may look something like this. You'll need a soft bag or a reusable container to get started. Fill that up with enough products to last for your typical period length and a few spares. Plus a couple of plastic bags to put used products in. Pack an aspirin, baking soda or black tea bags to reduce smell. Folded up newspaper or tin foil is also great to wrap used tampons in. Add toilet paper, hand sanitizer, pain medication, biodegradable wipes and some of your favourite treats. And your kit is good to go. Having a huge range of products these days is incredible. What a way to break down some of those barriers for people in the outdoors. Period underwear are something that's been new on the market in the last few years and essentially what that is is a pair of undies that has quite a few more layers in it. So advantages are that you can wear it all day and not have leakage. One of the disadvantages though is that when it comes to the end of the day there's the cleanup. So if you are in a place that does not have access to running water um, that can make this very challenging. You'd also then need another pair for the next day. If you won't be away for long, just put the used underwear in a sealed bag to clean at home. For longer trips, you can wash the underwear with natural biodegradable soap, then leave them on the outside of your pack to dry during the day. Reusable period pads can be cared for in the same way. In both cases, follow leave no trace practices and wash them at least 70 adult paces away from a water source. Another product that you can use for your periods is a pad. Pads are great because they are really easy to use. Along with disposable pads, there's also reusable pads. Again, these would go into your underwear and they usually have a clip at the bottom to stay in place. If you're going to be in the outdoors for more than a day, place your used disposable pads in a plastic sealable bag to dispose of later. Adding a crushed aspirin or baking powder to the bag will help reduce odor as will wrapping used products in tinfoil. Tampons can actually be a little bit trickier to use and not everyone is comfortable with tampons. So for a first time period, having pads is gonna be easiest. Some of the advantages with tampons are that it can make swimming a lot more comfortable and it can also be more comfortable when you're getting quite active. So things like riding a bike or running are a lot more comfortable for some people when they use tampons. One important thing to remember when using tampons is hand cleanliness. Toxic shock syndrome, while rare, is caused by inserting a tampon with unclean hands or using a tampon that is no longer sterile. Keeping soap or hand sanitizer in your period kit can help avoid this. If you can't guarantee hand cleanliness, use an applicator tampon instead. Just like with disposable pads, tampons can be stored in a plastic bag to be disposed of when you get home. 
So one of the period products out there is the Menstrual Cup, and this is fantastic because it's reusable and it's great for the environment. One of the challenges with it is that it can be a little bit trickier to use. Some big advantages of the menstrual cup are, one is that it actually lasts a lot longer, so it depends on your flow with how often you need to change it, but for a lot of people who menstruate, it can almost last the whole day. If you have access to toilets, rinse your cup with tap water, a drink bottle, or a small squirt bottle, then dispose of the waste in the toilet. Wipe the cup down with toilet paper or wipes. Just remember, most wipes aren't compostable, so if there isn't a bin on site, you'll need to take them with you to dispose of later. Not all wipes are genital friendly, so make sure you check before you use them to clean your products. If you don't have access to a toilet, you can bury your menstrual blood. Just make sure that it's at least 70 adult paces away from a water source, track or hut. To bury your waste, dig a 15 to 20 centimetre hole, empty the contents of a cup and then cover it with dirt. For me personally, with menstruation, I usually feel a bit blah. Like that's a very scientific term for just not feeling on your A game. And that feeling is sometimes accompanied with stomach cramps. Uh, my boobs get so sore, <laughs> which makes things like running actually like kind of sucky. It's quite annoying at times because I get really bad cramps. So I find that um, I might throw up and I can't do something, even go to school. Kind of miss the memo on how much it actually affects your day-to-day -day life. The pain and cramps, as well as just like the changes you have in your body throughout the month and how it affects how you do at work or at school or like when you're out doing sports and stuff like that. It's important to note that there's a huge range with these symptoms. Some people that menstruate are gonna experience this stuff really intense and they are gonna have incredible cramping and it's gonna be quite debilitating, while other people are gonna feel fine. Got a tampon, mood cup, pad, whatever, period undies, and I'm good to go, put me out there. It's important to note that someone's not just sucking it up and being more hardcore because they're doing the activity during their period and someone's like a total wimp. There is a huge range and so they're all real feelings and real symptoms. Some ways of managing periods in the outdoors would be things like aspirin. That works for some people. I'm a big fan of the snacks. I wanna have like feel good snacks. That could look like cheese and crackers or some pretzels or lollies. Another thing that can help is actually just physically moving around. Just getting some fresh air and going for a gentle walk will really help ease that pain. I think of Papa Tuanuku, like the ultimate mum. She's our mother earth. So your equal of blood is connected to her. When you are managing or um, disposing of your blood, we now need to protect her in the way that we dispose of our equal of blood. And that's where the, the corridor about the products come in. A reusable product encourages you to think more about how you're disposing it and, and it allows you to give it directly back to Papa Tuanuku. Hini Ahuone was created from the earth of Papa Tuanuku and she was the first woman. And therefore our blood is connected to Papa Tuanuku and should rightly go back to her rather than in like landfill. Whaka Papa is sacred and hugely important. Blood is Whaka Papa, Ikura is blood. It's all kind of connected. Overall, what would make periods in the outdoors so much easier is just to acknowledge that it happens and to not look the other way when someone talks about a tampon. Because the second you make it embarrassing, that puts that weight, that emotional labor on us as people who menstruate that now we need to feel ashamed. I'm feeling pretty good about my period these days. I like to be super open about it. And I think I find that really empowering to be able to say like, yeah, I'm on my period, so what? Like, why would that stop me from going mountain biking or going on fun adventures?